Clogged pipes, broken faucets, appliances breaking down, all because of gritty, flaky water. It's a nasty problem for some families in Parkville and Riverside, and they're fed up. KCTV 5 investigative reporter Angie Racono has been hearing from customers who say the water company should pay for the damage, but they won't. Angie? Well, have you ever heard of a whole house flush? Here are some pictures. That's where a water company runs thousands of gallons of water through a home to flush the system. And American Water Company is doing this all over Parkville and Riverside. So I want to show you a before and after photo. You can see how it's kind of dirty and yellow here, and that's what it should look like. It's actually clear. Now here's where things become unclear. Who pays for gritty water? I have to do this to the toilets, to the faucets, to the bathtub. Jeff this Davis has picked I... up some plumbing skills. He's great at cleaning out faucet filters. His next door neighbors can unhook a washing machine in minutes. Two neighbors cleaning out nasty building. No, no, we're not going to take responsibility for that. Is incredible. It's not like I can go to a different water company. Davis was denied so, when he turned in his expenses for a known problem. Here's the letter. We do not believe our insured to be responsible for your damages which stuns Davis. American Water admits there is a problem and even hosted public meetings to get more information. That's all the crap that comes into the bottom of our bathtub. Here's home so video right of a bathtub there. that looks like oatmeal is at the bottom. And other neighbors tell us the problem is so extreme, plumbers actually ask to keep broken water tanks. Could cut it open and put it on display at a trade show so that he could show what bad water looks like. Just the evidence was really hard to ignore. Parkville's mayor says the city hired a lawyer because the problem is so bad. This is our one and only choice. Unfortunately, American Water owns the hundreds of miles of water mains in Parkville. It's the only option for these families, whether they like it or not. This is the stuff right here. I know it's got to be frustrating. It's frustrating for us. A spokesperson for American Water says the problem is baffling because it's not in every home, and that's true. Jeff Davis has a problem, so do his neighbors, but other homes on his street have no issues. A spotty problem with no pattern. We will not stop until we get this problem rectified. American Water plans to add carbon dioxide to the system to help break down sediment. That should happen by the end of May. And the company says it may cover some of the expenses, even if the insurance company won't. We internally as a company have decided to take another look at these claims. I do, I do, I think they should pay. Homeowners say there's the obvious plumbing bills and damage, but also a bigger expense, property values. You wouldn't buy this house. I wouldn't. KCTV5 got involved in this problem when homeowners questioned safety. Two separate tests were done with the help of UMKC, and we want to remind everyone that nothing dangerous was found. So this is a relief for homeowners, but still it's an expensive problem. American Water Company originally told us they think it's a problem in about 2% of homes, mm -hmm. but now they're saying probably closer to five, but a lot of homeowners say they think it's higher than that. And we've been hearing a lot from people all day long on Facebook, and we'll continue that conversation with a live chat in just a few minutes. Oh, I'll bet you'll get a lot of reaction people, from yes. people, just not in Parkville, but other areas other as well. Other places with problems as well. I think it's good the mayor and the company are talking to you. They are. Yeah. Thanks, right, Angie. Thanks.